Leukemia is a disease that affects thousands of Australians every year. The problem with leukemia is that despite the fact people respond very well to their first treatment, 25% of children and 50% of adults will relapse with disease that is then more aggressive, leading to high mortality of these patients. People have initially thought that the reason these cells survive the chemotherapy is that there's some part of the body that they can move to and hide from. And that means while we're treating patients, these cells are completely protected. And then when we remove the therapy, they come back to life and reform disease. Previously, the way that people have looked at this problem is to look at single static images. Think about trying to understand your favorite soap opera or your favorite sport just by looking at one image fixed in time. There's no way we can interpret this. So we developed a revolutionary technique where we could watch these cells for days, hours, weeks to understand how they were evading chemotherapy. What we found was incredibly surprising and it's in contradiction to what scientists have thought for many years. These cells aren't moving into a special place in the body. They're running away from the chemotherapy. So they're playing a game of tag instead of hide and seek. This represents a seismic shift in how we're going to develop new therapies for patients. We now know we don't need to target these areas where they hide because they don't exist. Instead, what we're going to do is target how the cells move around the body and recolonize and form disease. We want to stop cells from being able to move so that we can win this game of tag.